Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is the Zip Zap Zop, and today I'm going to be doing a forge walkthrough of my new map, Periphery. Now, Periphery is a pretty large uh, city map with a lot of uh, different locations you can visit. Um, you have a street level, obviously, with um, some longer sight lines. The, the sight lines in this are really long, actually, but I tried to kind of intersperse it with some covered routes. Um, back here is uh, kind of the clear area, but... Uh, the angles, uh, you know, you don't have 45 degree angles, you have uh, 180 degree points of coverage instead of just like 90 degree ones, so it's a lot harder to hold out back here. And then, um, yeah, just use some rubble to kind of cap off the streets here. That back corner is soft killed. I would fill this in more, but uh, the budget is pretty much completely maxed out. There's like nothing else I can put at this point in time, so that's uh, a little unfortunate, but whatever. But anyways, yeah. Here's the interior of kind of the first building near the spawn, human spawn, where I was at a second ago. And uh, inside here, uh, I had a little bit of help from my friend on these aesthetics here. Uh, and I think they look pretty good. Um, basic, very basic. Uh, we, I'm, you know, we made this when the money was practically gone, like in the 9,500 budget range. And um, yeah, of course we have an exit here and there. And then we also have one there, which I'll show you in a minute once I finish this level. But uh, then over here's a little kind of human holdout base. They're originally more crates, but um, I ended up taking them out because I didn't want to over crate. That just gets boring. So I, of course, um, used a lot. I tried to use a lot of these new lights to kind of give the impression that they're trying to kind of be able to like keep the area lit up at night so they can see the infected coming uh, whenever they're holding out here. And of course, um, there's a, a, a subway and a monorail. I can't decide which I'm going to show first. No, I'll show the monorail first. Um, the monorail, you just hop in a grav lift right here and pop up to the top. And there's also one on the other side right here where you just hop in and pop up to the top. And um, then there's a crashed train right here, which you uh, can't get around. It's uh, been soft killed. So there's no way to get up into there. But right here, there is a train, which uh, you just hop into. And then we have a windows at here. And I thought this was really cool. And we have this, this little train right here with some... Uh, some aesthetics in it. I tried to keep it kind of basic because, again, this map's really big, and so I kind of tried to conserve the budget. And, um, yeah, and you can enter up here. Can't get on top, though. That's been soft-killed, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on the way you look at it. Of course, this is soft-killed, that's soft-killed, blah, blah, blah. You just want to stay on this, pretty much. Back there, soft-killed. But, um, yeah, this collapsed thing leads back right into here, which is the room of the first building, this little rubble pile I was uh, talking about earlier. That's where that leads. So uh, there's a little tie-in right there, so there's plenty of access routes up top. And uh, unfortunately in Halo 4, the grav lifts are a bit glitchy. Um, so that's why I put two ladders, so in case one of them gets like jammed up or doesn't work right, there's always another one to hop on into. So um, yeah, that's why I did that. But anyways, here's the really wide open street area that uh, isn't really kind of well covered. I don't think anyone... During the playtest, not many people came back here. But, um, yeah, there's a hole in the ground right here, which I'll show you where that leads momentarily. But, uh, yeah, this monorail just kind of extends off the side. And, uh, just have some covered routes, because I, I don't know what I was trying to do. I wanted to balance long and short sightlines, so I had a bit of long sightlines in the street right here. But they're kind of deceptive, because there's always a really nice covered path directly, you know, to this side. So you may feel like you got plenty of room to operate here, but in reality, the infected could just be back here. And that's not as much room as it might look like. And, you know, I just kind of tried to add these kind of covered areas off to the sides, to the peripheries. <laughs> that was actually why I named this map that. It's because it's like the idea is you're on the, you're on the edge of a major city during one of these zombie apocalypses. And um, as a result, you kind of uh, don't get the initial breakout, but it kind of comes to you in a wave after wave kind of thing instead. Instead of people actually getting sick, the infected come to you. So, because everyone else has already gone, evacuated, but you've uh, been trapped here by a military blockade, and so uh, there's no going in or out. The blockade's off somewhere near the border. I don't know. I don't know what state this was supposed to be set. It was somewhere in the U.S., though. But, uh, anyways, I'm just dawdling now. Um, yeah, this is kind of the backstory idea. Anyways, back down here is a little entrance to the subway tunnel. Now, the subway tunnel uh, it was uh, going to be a bit more aesthetically appealing, but again, the budget got maxed out as I kind of sealed off all my access routes, so I ended up just uh, calling it quits there. 
But of course, you got axis down on either side and some, some wires. I ended up using some wires in my destruction. I think they look pretty cool in my little rubble piles. <laughs> but then, of course, we have a, another crashed subway, some uh, few things. No money left to make seats, unfortunately. Other one here. But I did make a nice little terminal at the front with some hanging wires. I just kind of like how that looks right there. And this tunnel over here leads back. This is supposed to be where the subway was going to go, but this is collapsed off, so obviously it can't go this direction anymore. And that one had its brakes on because it saw that, but then the other one wasn't able to stop in time and it hit that one, so that's how that went down. And then uh, there is a side access route, fortunately, though. It wraps around here. Kind of has been damaged, too, but that's because, you know, military bombing runs and other things like that. And uh, blockades to try to keep the infected out of reaching the barrier that they've set up. But yeah, this is just kind of a transitional room. You don't really want to stay here. Uh, not a good place to camp out. <laughs> and it leads into this room right here with this spiral staircase. Um, I blocked this uh, access out this side right off right there because it leads straight up in that wall coliseum because um, I didn't have enough pieces to make anything else besides kind of one of these circular things. I don't know if any of you old time subscribers remember, but I made a uh, map on Halo Reach named Nuclear Silos where uh, there were like a bunch of these things that were really tall, like, you know, seven or eight high, and they just kind of branched off into varying rooms that kind of all wrapped around. And that was a cool concept, and I thought, oh, those didn't cost very much, and they were pretty big. I think I'm just going to replicate it here. Problem is this wall coliseum gets in my way. But whatever. You work with what you have. Roll with the punches. And then, of course, I have some blocks around here just to make sure it's not too open. And then I have kind of an ATM cache right here. This was going to be a bank, this building right over here. I had it all planned out, but I ran out of money. So I ended up just uh, blocking the inside off. It had an inside originally, but, of course, the money's been limited. I've said that a lot. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. The infected spawn down there in the subway tunnel. Oh, I almost forgot this hole back here. I was going to come back to this. The hole back here, you just drop on into, and then you're in the subway station. And, of course, you can go this way or this way just to make sure there's plenty of routes of access. But, uh, yeah, that's the gist of this map. Uh, I really like the way this one turned out aesthetically. Gameplay-wise, it's uh, a lot better than my past two. There were a few minor glitches with the ladders, unfortunately, but I uh, think I got those mostly patched up. I moved the grab lifts around a little. And uh, besides that, yeah, that's all I pretty much have to say. I would like to thank you guys for watching. I'm the Zip Zap Zop, and I will see you guys next time.